What's going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game by the Beach. <clears throat> Very excited to be here with you today because, guys, we're going to be jumping into a video about how to build a free to play deck. I think this idea has been going around for at a minimum of uh, two years, right? Okay. I don't know how long this game's been out. I've been playing this game for a little bit over two years. And uh, it's always been a little bit of a mystery on how to build a deck free to play that actually works on the ladder and you can actually get a couple of wins. So what we're going to do today is we're going to figure out how to build this deck. Okay, you guys have been asking about this in the comments a little bit. And, uh, and we're just going to create a deck on the spot and see how we fare on the ladder. So guys, when I'm thinking about a free to play deck, okay... To me, that doesn't necessarily mean zero legendaries, okay? Most people out there have at least a few legendaries, okay? Some people have, uh, you know, Frost, Boreas, uh, Dryad. I think those are like the three main ones that people get early on. So what, with that in mind, we're going to try and create a deck that primarily has no legendaries in it. But if you throw in a couple of legendaries or if you have a better card to replace it with a certain card with that is a legendary throw that in your deck that's why i'm not going to be showing you a specific deck i'm going to be showing you how to build this deck and and we can go from there but if you guys are enjoying this video make sure that you are subscribed to the channel like the video and also check out those memberships we got a lot of cool perks i know you guys will enjoy including the ongoing raffle for you to win your very own mallard mug all you gotta be is a red member but let's jump right into it okay first and foremost the most important thing is your damage dealer, okay? In this deck right now, we have Cultist. Cultist is kind of hard to build a deck that is completely free to play. You either have to have Harlequin or Scrapper or Dryad. If you don't have those, you're going to run into a little bit of trouble. Some people can run Cultist with Summoner. It's just kind of dangerous. Some people don't run Cultist with Harlequin. Again, just a little bit dangerous. So you guys figure out what your best damage dealer is. For the sake of this video... We're not going to do a damage dealer that's a legendary because I feel like that's a cop out. So let's just create a couple, throw in a couple of cards. And uh, for that damage dealer, maybe you don't have as good a card. Maybe you don't have cultist, inquis, whatever. That can do damage to bosses and do damage to waves. So use two different cards, okay? One of the best boss killers is Crystal Mancer. My Crystal Mancer is only level 12. Throw that card in. There's a number of reasons why I love Crystal Mancer. They do great against bosses. You don't need a certain amount. They don't need to be lined up in any certain way. You just throw them on the board. The more, the merrier, the better you're going to do. Okay. However, waves were going to struggle. Waves were going to struggle. So there's a, a ton of different cards that you could run for crowd control. Okay. You could run, uh, let's see, you could run Pyrotechnic. You could run Ivy. You could run uh reaper you could run plague doctor so many different cards you could run hunter let's actually let's throw hunter in this deck okay we're gonna throw hunter in the deck now we've got our damage okay we've got crystal and we've got hunter now we need some support so when i think of support i want to think of a way that you can upgrade your units a way that you can increase the damage of your units and a way that you can slow down or stun the monsters on your board okay two of the best cards in the game even though they're chemists even though they're well i spoiler even though they're commons bombardier we're gonna throw them in and chemist bombardier will stun will slow it'll help you take out your bosses if you're having a little bit of a tough time and uh and chemist will just decrease the shield on all the monsters which increase the damage that you're outputting from your units. So for the last card, guys, again, we haven't thrown a Legendary in here yet. So if you guys have Dryad, I think we're going to keep Dryad in here. Dryad would be great. If you have, I don't know, uh, Scrapper, that would probably be great. Hex would probably be great in this deck. Uh, Frost could, be, could work pretty well in this deck. You know, there's so many different cards. We're going to sit with Dryad. I think Dryad is just one of those cards that you can throw in any deck and it's going to make it a little bit better. But without further ado, let's jump into a battle and see if we can find a win. So just trying to queue in. We found a battle right off the bat. We didn't even have to cut it right there. And, uh, and we're going up against the... Well, actually, 
I was going to say the cultist uh, chemist deck, but actually, he's rocking it without Harlequin. So, um, so this is kind of a risky deck for him. Maybe it'll be great, great for us. The only problem is that we are going up against Tribunal. We might have a little bit of a chance to take out Tribunal with our Hunter being upgraded. That could be kind of good. Um, but typically, we don't want to go up against Tribunal. We're not going to be outputting so much damage that we're just overpowering bosses and taking them out like that. We're going to try and just kind of withstand, do a good amount of damage, maybe have a little bit of good RNG with bosses, and that's kind of the reality that you're going to have to be, find yourself in, okay? And it's not the end of the world. It's a free-to-play deck. You shouldn't be overpo overpowering people that have, uh, you know, paid a good amount of money. You shouldn't be. But you should be able to withstand and win some games while you're while you're going through it. So when I'm playing this deck, since we have Hunter Talents, uh, we're going to be primarily focusing on our Hunter. We're going to try and level him up. Since it is Tribunal, I should be uh, just kind of evening out my board a bit. I guess we'll do this, and th that's not the card I meant to level up. It's fine. We got him to three. Let's get a couple of these guys up. We've got, what, four, eight. Uh, 11 units on our board. Not the end of the world. I think we're kind of just sitting and hanging out right now. Looking at his board, he'll definitely take a hit also. So I might even be just really, really risky and just... Uh, or maybe not risky is the right word, but aggressive and just combine out a lot as long as we have a decent amount of mana. Because the less I get hit, the better. Ooh, he's actually going to be able to get a T. But I don't think it'll matter. Even with one T and a rank two chemist, I just don't think he's got the firepower. I don't think he's. I don't think he's got the firepower to take this guy out. He made me eat my words. He had the firepower, guys. He had the firepower. So right off the bat, we're already in a hole. Okay, we're already in a hole. We uh, we tried to. Okay, that's actually pretty good. We got a rank three right there. We've got a couple of hunters. Let's keep getting our hunters up. He did not get hit by Tribunal. We did get hit by Tribunal. Not ideal. But guys, the fact that we have a rank three chemist is awesome already. That's going to be outputting a lot of damage. I'm going to try and keep my hunter numbers relatively in check. And uh, and I'm going to let my uh, my Crystal Mancers just go absolutely wild. I, I don't care. We, I would be happy with... 10 crystal mancers, okay? But I really only need a handful of of hunters. When you guys are playing these types of decks, remember, it's very very important, I'll just do that, I guess, that you continuously level up your mana upgrades, okay? Your mana upgrades are super super important, especially if you're going to have an uphill battle, okay? Uh which I think that's kind of a good mentality to go into, okay? I'm never really going to go into a game running a free to play deck and expect, like I said, expect to just handily take this this opponent out, okay? I can expect to win. I think that's great. You should always expect to win. But expect a battle. Expect a fight. Expect uh, you, the reality that you're probably, you probably shouldn't win. But you might, all right? So let's keep on leveling these guys up. We're going to hit our trainer right here, try to output a little bit more damage. And I think the combination of Hunter and Crystal Mancer is honestly really, really great. Look at this. We're all the way back at the front of our portal. We've got a couple of rank threes. We've got a rank four. We've got a chemist down here. This guy is on a slow square, but he's also on a damage square. So let's just get that guy up to three. We got another tribunal. You absolutely hate to see it. Uh, because we just don't take monsters out all that quickly. But let's level up our Crystal Mancer all the way. And we might even level up our chemist all the way that would be great i'm just wor waiting on my trainer to drop it when i see a mini boss yeah and we guys we're even using trainer right now which um which works really really well in most decks so looking at his board he's got a rank four how the heck did he get a rank four scrapper i didn't even notice how that happened but I'll take it. I guess we got 43 seconds. Let's do our chemist one more time. Really just to try and output as much damage as we can. And since we just have this Dryad chilling, might as well get our another uh, another Crystal Mancer up one more time. 30 seconds. We know that we're not going to be able to use our trainer for, um, 
for Tribunal to help us take it out before it hits us, so it really doesn't matter. So we're going to use it right there. And hopefully we can hold on for 20 seconds, but he is outputting a ton of damage right now. 15 seconds, we're going to have to see. Maybe I was a little early on my trainer. 8 seconds, 7, 6, Bobadier, do something. 4, 3, 2, oh, we took a hit. Okay, we're alive. We're alive. 2.4 to go through. Let's drop our trainer as soon as we can. We did take a hit right there. Let's do that. We're going to go here. We're going to go here. 2, 1.4 to go through. We've only got one Bombardier, but we've got a handful of Crystal Mancers. And we still have this rank 3 Chemist, which is really, really great. And we got this guy back to 4, this guy back to 3. We got a 4 down here. I think our board is okay. And his board looks real, real bad. So let's just level up our Bombardier. Our Bombardier maybe should be our saving grace because he doesn't have um, he doesn't have a any type of slow. I'm gonna do kind of a strange play here because I, I really desperately feel like we need a higher level Bombardier. But so far so good. I'm trying to just dig for like a dryad or something to get our Bombardier up. There we go. He does, he's rocking Gadget also, and they're getting to the end of the board, and there is a victory right off the bat. Hit him with a good game. Guys, I threw together an absolutely just random, random free-to-play deck, and it worked. You found a win. Was it easy? No. Did we take a hit? Yes. Did we get a victory? Yes. All right, that's only one game. That's one game. Let's check it. Let's check his stats. 1752 before everybody comes flying at me for my for my cards, right? We got more crit than him, granted. All right, but a level 11 cultist is nothing to sneeze at, guys. My cultist is level 9. Level 11 cultist, level 13 chemist. We've got a level 12 crystal mancer, max chemist, max bombardier, level 8 dryad, nothing too shabby. Uh, and then obviously we have a, a max hunter with talents, which is obviously very very good But you could throw in anything you want. Let's jump into one more game here And if you guys want to catch me live we do live stream we live stream exclusively on twitch We live stream on Fridays as well as Sundays Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard, Standard Time we'd absolutely love to have you guys come on by come on by Come hang out if you want to play against me, if you want to play with me. We can make that happen. Very, very easy. Uh, we'd absolutely love to have you guys there. And if you guys need help with dungeons, all right, either I can help you with dungeons or somebody in chat can help you with dungeons. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, what's better than that? So now we're going up against the age-old Blade Dancer. Maybe this is an absolutely perfect opportunity for this video. If we could get two wins, uh, it's just beautiful, okay? It would be absolutely beautiful. But first game, we had a cultist, strong cultist. Second game, we got a blade dancer. I don't know how strong a blade dancer deck it is, but um, it's probably solid. So right off the bat, we got a rank two crystal mancer right there. As long as Puppeteer doesn't move us around, we can get this guy beefy. He's on a square. He's a rank two already. He's a crystal mancer. That's absolutely fantastic. We got a handful of, uh, of um, hunters right now. Hunters get ranked up in twos and in pairs, I should say. So let's just do this and that. I'm actually going to go here and we're going to go here because now when our hunter gets leveled up again, we're going to have a four and a three, which is just fantastic, which will be the next mini boss. I like to not level up my, my units before Puppeteer just because I really don't know how we're going to do against, against these bosses. I think we're, we're going to have no problem taking it out. But sometimes Bombardier doesn't necessarily trigger, even if you level it up, which is just kind of annoying. Um, and then you get your mana upgrades ranked down, which is super frustrating. So I'm just going to hang out for now and uh, and see what we can do. But let's do that right off the bat. We are going to hit our trainer also, which absolutely helps a ton. So let's just drop our trainer right now. I missed for a second. And uh, we should take this guy out very, very easily. We've already got a four, a three hunter, and a three uh, crystal mancer. And now we're going up against a tribunal, which is really not ideal. So 
I think at this time, now our mentality switches. It kind of switch Puppeteer and Tribunal, I kind of look at them opposites. If we're going up against a, a Puppeteer, I'll try to fill my board. I don't really care about my mana levels. And if it moves us around, it kind of moves us around. Uh, when I go up against Tribunal, I want to keep my board scarce. And I really just want to focus on mana levels. Because if anything, it's never going to rank down my mana levels, but it might rank down my board. So I'm just going to kind of ignore my board and uh, and focus on leveling up our mana levels but so far so good it looks like he's having eh, maybe just a tiny bit of trouble not really if he finds a knight statue there it is he's gonna rank it up to two he's gonna move that scrapper and he's gonna move that knight statue over it's like a play-by-play -play, kids it's just it's just it's pretty good so 40 seconds we've already got 1200 mana our mana levels are pretty good bombardiers don't really matter we got two rank ones uh one of our goals that we're gonna have after tribunal is going to be trying to get one of our chemists to three i think that's really really crucial if you can get it to four that's even better uh in terms of bombardier i'm happy with a bombardier at two but realistically we should have a bombardier at three and we want to just get our hunters as leveled up as possible we have a rank five and a four right now but i'm sure they're going to get hit let's do another trainer right here trainer really really helps it depends on your level but it's increasing the attack speed from my monsters it do it's doing some damage from the bosses you really just do a lot more damage when you drop that that trainer so he took it out immediately obviously it ranked down both of our um it ranked down both of our another tribunal really bad for us really really bad for us uh, I don't know what I was saying. It's fine. Keep dropping our trainer. Let's try to level up max everything. We got three and four. Let's do our hunter right there. We could combine out here. But let's actually just hold off, okay? We've got a rank three bombardier. We've got a rank three chemist. I maxed, I leveled up my chemist right there. I leveled up my bombardier right there. Next step is going to be our crystal mancer. And I think we're just kind of chilling. But yeah, the fact that we got two tribunals is so, so bad. And I don't even really remember when this switched. But tribunal used to just be annoying for everybody. But now tribunal is almost just annoying for like free-to-play players. Or players not playing these decks with super high cards. Because, I mean, it's already an uphill battle for me. But he takes out tribunal right away. And I'm out here struggling to take, and I'll never take it out right away. And it, I don't know, it just came, kind of seems a little bit bizarre. And uh, and it's definitely a shame when we see two tribunals in a row. Um, but here we go. We got our trainer. We got our timing down. It's actually really nice that we have a bunch of commons in this deck because uh, our, our morale goes up a lot. Which in turn means that, uh, I'll just do that I guess. In turn means that... Uh, we can use our hero more abundantly, which is great. So let's level that guy up. We can do this. Uh, I'll just do that for starters, that for starters, and uh, an IK. Puppeteer is okay, I guess. But look at this. We only have rank 2. This guy was a rank 5. Now he's a rank 3. That's a real shame. So 48 seconds. I'll just drop my trainer here. I think that's a little bit early for us to drop it, but... It is what it is. It'll help pretty much no matter what, when I drop it. And we do have Vortex here. So let's see what we can do with Vortex. I'm going to try and combine out a little bit. We got another Hunter. Keep working hard, Hunter. That's all we can do is maintain, work hard, and see what we can do. Okay, we've got a bunch of Crystal Mancers. 23 seconds. He's taking things out just super, super quick. But 18 seconds. We're trying hard. We're getting back to our trainer. We got our trainer right there. Maybe we can go through 10 seconds. We're holding on for dear life. And there is an L. Hit him with a good game. Let's check out the stats. 2,600 crit. So he was outdoing me by 400 crit. He's got a level 6 gadget, which obviously is very, very good. He did hit me with a good game, I think. I'm assuming. I heard the bell. I didn't, I didn't see it. Uh, level 11 Blade Dancer. Very, very good. Guys, we were holding our own. I think if we had two, we did not have two tribunals in a row, it could have been a different story. We had a rank five and a rank four hunter at wave two. Without those tribunals, we lost on wave five. Those would have both been max. That's a massive difference. Instead, they were both three. 
those would have both been maybe not max, but one of them would probably have been max. The other would have been six. So a little bit different, different story. But guys, look at the cards that you have. Okay, go check them out. Try to make a build with all of those tips that I've that I've uh, I've given you today, and keep them in mind. If you guys have legendary cards and they're decent legendary cards, throw them into your deck and try to build a deck around it. Okay, if it's a great damage card. Couple it with a Cold Mage, couple it with Chemist, couple it with Bombardier. If you guys have like a Harlequin Dryad combo, find a damage dealer that you really like, Crystal Mancer, whatever. Get those Crystal Mancers ranked all the way up, okay? If you've got, I don't even know, if you've got Hex, uh, couple it with something with pretty, pretty fast attack speed. Ivy, uh, Rogue, Hunter. I mean, those all kind of got nerfed. What, what, else, what else is... Uh, Wind Archer. I put out a Wind Archer Hex deck in the past, and it's and it's a bit of fun. But guys, that's going to be the end of this YouTube video. I hope that this helped you guys. Uh, and if you enjoyed, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.